I'm so confused. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have another horror game for you. Now, I don't know this is going to be as bad as the last one. The, other, the last one gave me actual goosebumps. This time, we're jumping into another horror game. I'm hoping it's just as good as the last one. Um, I've heard some good things about this game. It is a very, very short game. I think it's like 20 minutes at best, depending on you know how we go about it. Um... So, we're going to go ahead and just jump right on in. And the name of this game is... You are Cliff, a college student who's brand new... F is a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities. The second rated ghost investigation show on the Haunting and Outdoors Cable Network. Hunting! An outdoors cable network. All right, you've been hired to inspect the Saint Augustine Asylum for the mentally ill. You will go into the facility and follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece. Keep your camera on and try to make contact with the spirits inside. And if nothing happens, you will get five hundred dollars for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of the real paranormal activity on your camera, huh? There's a comma there, but nothing. Oh, I see. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time if you manage to get some amazing footage with the real paranormal activity on your camera. So the comma in that period is, should have been switched around. I see. Grammar, my guy. Grammar. One-on-one. -on -one. So uh, let's jump right on in. All right, Clint. Uh, Cliff, Cliff. 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 Welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer, Tom, said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Okay, so first off, a couple things here. One, he said pay off college debt and beer tabs. You're either paying off college debt or beer tabs with $500. As a matter of fact, you're not even paying off college debt with $500. You can't do nothing with $500. What are you talking about? This man said 500 I mean, you got to pay me about $5,000 to do some shit like this. We are... Bro, as soon as we walk through the door, there's a big-ass Jesus just sitting on the... Oh, no, bro. We're in an insane asylum, and there's a Jesus... On a cross, and it's huge. This is like two or three times my size. Oh no, bro! This this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad, bad. What kind of picture is this? Look like he posing his ass for the camera. Just nothing but bones and po oh 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 no no. Okay, we're just gonna keep pushing. More crosses. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Eyeballs. That is one creepy picture. So again, more crosses and a Bible. This is not a good sign. Usually, if religion is like a blessing, it's amazing. But in horror games, it's some occult shit that just does not go well. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible is supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. What I told you. Ordinary people just wanted them gone from public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. Once you came to this place, you never left. 
and you thought it was be you, you thought it would be a great idea for us to come here. Oh, come on, man. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre nineteen twenty actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed twenty patients in need of attention. And by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. And be careful where you step. Okay. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, so... Spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. No, I don't want to try that again. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't even be trying this. We should not be doing this. What are you talking about? Show yourself. No, bro. All right, all right, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. No. Give us a sign that you're here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more spot. Bro, you got me 50 shades of fucked up right now. We not doing this. <sighs> Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up. What the fuck are you doing? No! Oh! What? You stupid motherfucker, what are you doing? I'm beating your oh, ass, bro. Oh, 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 I'm beating your ass. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right. I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Beating that. I'm itching. I'm nose is itching. I'm itching all over, bro. You just called a bunch of ghosts. Stupid pricks. Are you insane? You don't uh, like... Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are oh. deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. So, these people through this door was a danger to society and your dumb ass want to go and summon them I hate this game already I hate this game already this is the entrance to patient cell 200 through 219 we're talking extreme bipolarism schizophrenia dementia not necessarily dangerous but it could be a challenge for society dang the door's locked that sucks Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd Peeper. think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper. Right? The truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here to the legal loopholes and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. 
The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Let's just start the ceremony. I hate this. I really do hate this. You want to... Spirits um? No, bro. No, no. You're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer oh, no, shielded no, no, from no, the realm no, of the no, dead. No. no. Maybe seen, interact, and no. manipulate him in any way. No. 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 I hate... I'm beating your ass, bro. If I get out of here... Alive, I'm whooping that ass. You are getting a great A ass whooping. Don't just stand there. Go go check it out. I'm whooping that ass. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm whooping that ass. I'm not opening that door. No, fuck you. Nope, not doing it. Um. Nah, bro. That's that. You, you ever get so scared that you try to, to you, you try to, you, you try to talk, but nothing's coming out. Not, nothing's coming out. I, I, I think I quite literally swallowed my tongue. Is that it? Just you wanna turn the chair around, that's it. That's not scary, bro. That's not scary. You need to take it. You need to do what the other people are doing. Flipping the beds, popping up in windows, that shit's terrifying. Nothing else is in... Ma'am, you're not supposed to be here. I need to see some ID or something. You are scratching your ass. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn she's in the corner scratching her ass uh i'm not coming over there scratching for you i'm not doing it i'm i'm not i'm not you know what fuck it you you know what I, you hey you know what i know what this is I know what this is. This is one of those booty call things. But she goes, she's in the corner. On the street corner, she she can't be on the street corner. So she has to be in the corner of the, I get what she's doing. This is a booty call. She won't, that's why she rubbing her ass like that. She, bruh, she wants some long dick Johnson. I got you, ma'am. I'm right here just for you. Oh, oh, no, running. No, no, I'm out. <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. Nope. We gone. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm gone. No, I'm not stopping. You can scream all you want. I'm not stopping. Why can't... I'm not stopping. Why can't I run? What kind of white person am I? All right. Get out of this hallway and then take, a, take your second right. Second right. You. That's left. This is right. Second right. There we go. Door's locked. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, okay. There's a, there's a staircase. Take this staircase up to the second floor. And you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. I'm gone. I don't like the fact I can't run. I, I have to be white, man. There's just no way. I am white. I'm looking at my arm. It's black people. <laughs> we gone. We gone. 
Sir, I can't go through the door. I can't go through... Okay. Uh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. What? With the broken bottles that's on the floor, you want me to pry the door open? Actually, you know what? That might work. That might actually... It might work. Every fu- Hold on, 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 no, 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 I'm bugging. I'm bugging. So this is- This is where we came from, right? And then we went upstairs. Was this here? I'm just bugging. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. See? I knew it. The place doesn't even have a basement. What the- What- What is going on? Alright, alright, just- Whoa, wait, what? I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Permanent isolation, gas chamber, silent room, incinerator? What the f A gas chamber? What is a gas chamber doing in an insane asylum? Wait, Judas Cradle? Why does that name sound really familiar? The boat? What you mean, the boat? Is that supposed to be the person's name? Judas Cradle? I don't know why that name sounds really familiar. Uh. We see you. I need you to unsee me. Whoever wrote that we see you. Unsee me, please. Surgery. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> I must be white. There's just no way. I must be. There's no way. Black people don't do this. The door is closing behind me. That's not it, Chief. Oh, sir. Nope, I'm not doing it. I hate this. I really hate this. You know what? I'm not even touching the other doors. We're just... So confused. <laughs> that was a good one. That was that that was that was really good. That that was that was beautiful. You got me. You really got me with that one. They were dead. <laughs> hmm. This this game this 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 game, bro. Okay. Why can't I go nowhere? Okay. 
Oh. Shit. Don't see. There's blood on the floor. Don't see. Oh, oh. Okay. Um, I'm at the point where, like, I just want to go home. The dude ain't even talking to me on the radio no more. I just, I, I want to go home. say so many things right now I really want to say a lot of things but it's not YouTube friendly I want to call him a lot of names <laughs> uh, I want to call him so many names so many not YouTube friendly at all oh just gonna keep pushing keep push damn flashlight broke I can't use that anymore no shit Sherla Somebody just told me to come here. I'm here, sir. What's up? What you, what you got? You obviously got to tell me something. Come close. Oh, dear. <laughs> nope. 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 Run. 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 I'm trying to run. I'm trying to run. Get. Nope. Run. Run. Can't move any faster, bro. Run! What the fuck? Why am I walking? I'm oh, oh, no, 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 no! Come on, come on! Run, 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 bro! Come, come on! Move, man! Take your time, bro. Take your time. It's okay. We just take your time. Take your time. It's all right. We going fishing. We not running from a goddamn serial killer. I robbing ghosts now. We just we just going fishing. It's okay. Take your time. Take your time. It's all right. Open the goddamn. Room. Sorry, what? Cut what out? This open the damn door. Come on, bro. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Wait, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do with this? I can't even grab it. I'm clicking the damn button.
I think I died. That was the most disturbing, terrifying, and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the history of television. Oh my god, Tom. We're going to win an Emmy. We might be on talk shows, paranormal entities, movies, spin-offs, freaking coffee mugs, and kid shows. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Him? Him? <laughs> I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no, 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 no. I mean, we don't even know where he is in that hospital. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No. No, no. We're getting out of here. And, uh, anyways, another crazy thing about this. He needs to collect his money, too. I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So, so we, we basically got all this footage for free, dude. Let's just start the man up. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've been in here for, I don't know, a couple hours, just a little bit too long. I'm a little sore. I need to stretch out. And my very wealthy friend, you, are starting to stink. All right, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did you hear that? Did you, did you hear that? Shh. Listen, listen. A little closer. That, that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? So, listen. Shh. I see you now. Wow. Wow. Thank you for playing. Please leave a review on the page. Let me know what you thought about the game. My name is Al Heck. And I made this game in 10, day, 10 days for the Scream Jam 2020 event. My friend John and I founded GameDevHQ.com. We believe the game is development. is an amazing skill and a great tool to tell stories. I didn't even get a chance to read all that. 10 days. Damn. That is incredible for 10 days. Wow. This game is... Uh... Woo, it's something else, man. Y'all let me know down below. What did you think of this game? Like it, love it, hate it? Is it better than the last video? Or is it worse? With that being said, I... The guy's a prick. <laughs> That's being nice. That's YouTube friendly to describe who, you know, the guy who was, uh... The producer. But, um... Damn, man. It was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, well, not... I didn't enjoy it, but I did enjoy it. I enjoyed playing... I'm gonna enjoy watching it. <laughs> not playing it. I love... I, I can't do scary games, man. This is... This was a lot. So, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know down below. If you want to see me play more horror games like this, please let me know. With that being said, my name is Robert J. Fox, and... I'm out.